today I wanted to do a video on three roasting techniques uh, that you can do at home. Everything from the most basic to pretty complicated, essentially doing commercial roasting out of your own home. So I'll walk us through some of the basic steps at each level and we'll hopefully come up with some kind of a comparative analysis between the, uh, the three techniques. All right, let's go. We're gonna start with pan roasting. You really wanna use something uh, with some heft to it. I'm using a carbon steel skillet here, but you could use something like a cast iron pan as well. Um, so I'm weighing out about eight ounces of coffee. That's sort of the max for this pan. And I've been preheating it for about five minutes, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and add my coffee in at this point. You really want to keep the coffee moving around, keep stirring it, keep shaking it. Um, you don't want to let it sit, otherwise it might scorch, and then you're going to have some nasty coffee. So just keep on uh, stirring it around. I don't know if I mentioned it, but I'm doing this over like a medium heat. Um, on my oven, it's like a four. After 10 minutes of shaking around and stirring, you'll start to hear little cracks, kind of sound like popcorn. Uh, that's called your first crack. And it's a good indication that you're nearing the end of the roast. Um, the coffee bean is starting to open up at the seam and release a lot of gases and trapped up energy inside. It's actually an exothermic reaction. So once that happens, you're gonna start really noticing the colors start to develop. I'm just kind of judging by eye here, but after 15 minutes, I'm gonna call it done. Coffee's kind of at a light, light, medium roast level. You'll see this method is pretty messy. Um, you know, you're gonna to wanna to clean that up right away, otherwise your significant other is not gonna to be too happy. So this is what the coffee looked like. You can't really expect perfection with pan roasting. It's just kind of going to be one of those things. It's going to be a little bit uneven, but that's kind of the charm of it. The next method, we're going to weigh out about three ounces of coffee. That's the max you can really do. And we're going to be using a popcorn popper to roast. This is pretty popular um, for the home roasting community. going to want to get some chopsticks, something to stir around, an oven mitt because it's going to get really hot. And obviously this is probably going to void your warranty on your popcorn popper. So, you know, don't at me on that one. But yeah, this is pretty self-explanatory. You just want to keep it stirring, help the, the coffee move around in there using the chopsticks. This method's gonna be a lot faster, so you'll see after only a couple minutes here, we're already gonna be completely into the yellow phase. So at this point, I also like to start cycling on and off the power. That way, you can start to control the development a little bit more and it won't run away from you so fast. After another couple minutes, first crack will start. You'll hear those pops and cracks again. And at this point, you really wanna make sure you're managing your heat well with that on and off switch. Just try to extend the development as much as you can to let the coffee develop better flavors. That's the idea, the basic idea behind that. 
really quick this time after about six minutes we're done so again just dump that coffee off into something so that it can cool down quickly um, i'm actually using my extractor fan to do that but you can use any number of things to cool it down this method is still a little messy but considerably less messy than the pan roasting method and though you're kind of capped off at that three ounce ish range of coffee um, it's definitely a much more even roast uh, and that's due to the kind of fluid bed of hot air produced by the popcorn popper looks pretty good I'm pretty happy with how this came out all right on to the third and final method weighing out a full pound of coffee this time and obviously number three is the Hookie 500 I'm just gonna walk us through a quick setup of this machine this is what I use to roast for the grand mug it's uh, a very capable little coffee roasting machine to call it a home roasting machine might be a little bit of a stretch but there are definitely a lot of enthusiasts that love this little thing. Setup in total took about five minutes. I also let the coffee roaster preheat for about 15 minutes. Now I'm just gonna carefully add the coffee in through the hopper. Now I'm turning the gas back on, I'm gonna reignite it. So I've uh, got a few other videos out there on how to roast on the hookie. So if you're considering buying one of these, um, check those out this isn't going to be very specific on how to roast on this one more just for the comparison so after about four and a half minutes we we're starting to enter the yellow phase here uh, one of the benefits of the hookie is that you can track everything on a computer and actually get you know, your roast curves and all your data, so you can do it very consistently, time after time. After nine minutes and 30 seconds, you start to hear those pops again, pops and cracks. Entering the first crack. After 12 minutes, this coffee's done too. Um, you can see right away, I roasted it a little bit darker, but it is extremely evenly roasted. Just really, really looks nice. And despite some of the setup time and some of, you know, obviously I'll have to disassemble everything and put it away, but cleanup is a breeze. Alright, so now we're going to do a little comparison of these roasts. So starting with the pan roast, uh, yielded about 7 ounces, and you can see, I mean, it's nothing fancy. It's, it's coffee. Versus the popcorn popper, way lower yield, but and arguably too fast you would really want to hopefully extend the coffee roasting time for longer than six minutes so the hookie uh, highest definitely the highest yield most even roast but that machine is pretty expensive at eighteen hundred dollars so you can kind of weigh what's more important to you when you're starting your home roasting journey. Now the real test, we're going to be cupping these roasts against each other. We've got the pan roast on the left there, and then the popcorn poppers in the middle, and then the hookie is all the way to the right. So some final thoughts as I start this cupping. 
pan roasting is a really easy way to get into home roasting, try it out. Uh, it allows you to really see the roast development as it occurs. You get to turn something that's green into something that's brown and watch the whole process. Um, it gives you a familiarity of how coffee reacts to heat and it's actually really beneficial to start your journey there in a lot of ways even though the results from it tend to be a little bit uneven and it's a little bit hard to control at times but I definitely recommend it for anybody who's on a budget that wants to try home roasting just make sure you, you use a pan that has kind of thick walls and can retain a lot of heat the popcorn popper is another excellent way to get into home roasting it's also really cheap though the capacity of it's way less you're going to end up with a much more even roast and i've roasted plenty of coffees on popcorn poppers that came out amazing so it's just a matter of learning to control the heat a little bit it also gives you that familiarity with um, really seeing the coffee go from in all the different stages of development Lastly, the Hookie. I mean, that's it's an amazing machine. It's at eighteen hundred dollars. I would say it's pretty expensive. It's kind of that's kind of a prohibitive price for people to just get into to buy it just to try it. There's also a huge learning curve with it. But once you have kind of mastered it, you're going to be roasting essentially the same kind of roast that big bigger coffee brands are capable of roasting. It really lets you get fine-tuned accuracy with your coffee roasting and so if that's important to you I think it's also a really good option. Overall I hope this video helps people see that you know roasting coffee at home can be really as easy or as difficult as you want to make it so I hope people give it a shot and try it out.